Hi, this is Glenda. Just thought I'd share what I've been doing. Um, if you watch much on YouTube or follow blogs uh, of particularly Stampin' Up! demonstrators, you'll know that they have a Dragonfly set at the moment. And there have been some really pretty cards out there that I you know, wanted to copy. Um, and that set just is not in my budget at the moment. Um, I have been crafting for a long time and I have a lot of supplies and I have to cut back this year so I am trying to use my supplies better and one of the things I did recently was to rearrange my stamps and one of the things I've done is pull apart some sets which I've never been game to do before. I can always put them back together because they all have imaging sheets that go with them um, but one thing I've done is pull out the dragonflies. So that was the first step for me. Um, and I had all these dragonfly stamps already. Um, plus a, a bigger one that you can kind of see under here. Um, so that was step one. Um, step two, I checked out what dies and punches I might already have. So I had this um, big Tim Holtz one that it does just the outline and then you emboss it. I had a little punch and another little punch. Uh, so for this exercise I haven't used those two. Um, but you know I established what I already had. So from there I have made uh, this card um, which was similar to one I saw um, on the web and it, yes the other one had bigger wings and didn't have swirls but I've got the same look. Um, without spending any more money. This is another one I did with the, the bigger of the stamps that I have. It's not the same, but it's the same look. So that made me happy. I got my punch and I punched a bunch of dragonflies and I got not the same look, but the same feel of, of doing the, the die with the number of, of dragonflies. The next thing I did was go through all my clip art and find what images I had. And if you don't have a clip art collection, you go to somewhere like the Graphics Fairy um, and print them out. And I put them on a sheet. Now I have a silhouette, so I can get, I can print these out. I can color them roughly because I'm gonna cut them out anyway. And then I can get my silhouette to cut them out. If you don't have a silhouette, you do the same thing and you fussy cut them. Um, you know, don't bother about the feelers or even the legs because the stamps and things don't necessarily have them on. Um, but you can just go over the edges, a bit of watercolour and then you end up with you know, a little container of, of dragonflies ready to go. Um, and I did this card with those. And the card I was copying actually used the bees down it and had a different designer paper but I've got the same look. Um, so this is where I'm going at the moment. Uh, so then the next thing I did was make a, um, a scan and cut dragonfly because I didn't have anything that cut out with the wings and that is available in the description box below if you've got a scan and cut you can get the file. Um, I did this one by embossing the, the file. I should show you what it cuts. <coughs> um, it's got the solid white background and the black layer on top. Well, depending what colour you cut it in. <coughs> and I did it in two sizes because I found just shrinking that symmetrically it didn't cut properly so I had to stretch him. So there's two sizes in the file. Um, but what I put behind that was the swirl out of this set. Because I did a similar exercise trying to get swirls like this and I couldn't so that was to me that justified getting the set especially since I got it for Christmas anyway um, but I didn't have anything that I could get that same look with so you know it was worth getting something different so I've got the swirl behind there but uh, yeah I just did silver embossing on here and I've got um, mica powder on the underneath to color the wings um, this is the slightly smaller one and I did copper embossing and again the mica powder. Um, for this one 
I cut it out of gold foil and the backing I cut out of glitter paper which I turned upside down to cut. Sorry I've had a cold. Um, and when you're mounting these it's usually better to cut the tail off the underneath layer because um, it sits better. But I discovered you don't really want to cut the head off because the head on this is actually a bit hollow so you actually want a backing on the head. Uh, there's one earlier one I did where I haven't got the backing on it. Um, yes, yeah, so I got a similar look on the thread and that's an old Stampin' Up! stamp so I'm getting out my old supplies. Um, these two uh, I did the parchment paper and coloured on the back of it. Um, so again I managed to get similar looks. I haven't spent any more money. Um, I now have a dragonfly scan and cut file that I hadn't bothered to do before, um, which as I say you can have too. And it's it's a case of using the supplies and buying what really is a gap in the supplies. Um, so that's my aim this year to only buy things that really fill an emptiness in my craft supplies. Because um, I'm, I'm not on no budget, but I'm definitely on a reduced budget. Um, so I don't know if that's helpful or not, but uh, if you have a scan and cut, enjoy the file. And um, thanks for watching.